So today's video is going to be three simple makeup tutorials meshed into one. I'm gonna be showing you three different makeup looks that I like to wear with red lipstick because I feel like sometimes we struggle with red lipstick. So I thought I would do a video showing you three different ways I like to wear red lipstick. And I honestly wear red lipstick with so many different looks. You can wear red lipstick with so many different eye looks that are complementing. But for today's video, I did three really simple looks. I did a more classic look, a more dewy golden look, and then this look right here, which is pretty much just a bold wing eyeliner look. I just went with a teal color because I love how teal pairs with red, but you can totally do this look with black eyeliner and it will still look really great. These three looks are really, really simple, but I think they look beautiful with red lipstick. And you can pair these looks with any kind of red lipstick you have at home. So if you want to see three different makeup looks with red lipstick, then just keep watching. Okay, so for all these looks, I'm going to be priming my eyes with the P. Louise Makeup Base. Please forgive me if I'm like breathing really hard in this video. I have caught the cold. But all I did was set my eyeshadow primer down with some face powder and then I went into the Dream Street palette by ColourPop and I'm going to take this shade right here. The shade is very well loved and I'm going to use this in my crease and this is pretty much the only eyeshadow I'm putting down. I just wanted some sort of something on my lids, um, something matte like in my crease. And then I took this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. This is like a midnight blue color. And even though I'm gonna cover it with a teal eyeshadow, I still wanted a color that was as close to teal as I could find in my collection. So that is why I'm using this eyeliner. And honestly, this part is completely up to you. Um, just go as thick or as thin as you wanna go. I tried to go for a very thick wing, and although they are not even at all, I tried my best. <laughs> So I went back into the Dream Street palette and I took the dark teal shade and I'm using this to apply right on top of my liquid liner um, because I really wanted the liner to be teal because like I said, I love how teal looks with red. I think it's just such a pretty combination. So I went in with an angled liner now just to kind of perfect the edges and get really close to the edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on my face before I finish up the eyes. And I just primed my face with the new Cover FX Dewy Skin Primer. And then for foundation, I mixed these two. This is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric and the new L'Oreal foundation that I recently tried on my channel. I have a whole first impressions on it. I just decided to mix them both. And then for concealer, I went in with the Flower Beauty Light. Flower Beauty? <laughs> Flower Beauty, I'm like sick and I'm very delusional. Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I actually love this concealer. The co <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be a fun voiceover. The coverage is beautiful. I really, really love it. And then I just set my under eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And then to finish up the eyes, I went back in with Shooting Star and I just buffed this on my lower lash line. I really love how like the peachy vibes go with the teal shade. For eyeliner, I went in with my Urban Decay Mainline Eyeliner. This is one of my favorite eyeliners. I use it all the time, and it's teal, so it's so random. But I went in with Mainline, and then I just intensified it with the Water Bearer eyeshadow, and then I highlighted my brow bone with Mooney, and I went into my inner corners with Mooney as well, and that's the entire eye look. I just went in with some mascara and some falsies, and that's it. It's a very, very easy eye look if you can nail down the wing part. <laughs> that part is the hardest part for me. Oh, and applying the falsies. But my right eye, or my left eye, is a little crooked. It has a little bit of a dip there. It's, a, it's not the best. But I'm contouring with the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer, and then I went in with this Milani Blush in Warm Petals on the cheeks. And then I wanted to intensify my inner corners a bit, so I took the highlighter that I'm gonna use on my face and I just applied it a little bit on my inner corners. But this is the Physicians Formula Shimmer Brick in Naturally Nude. Such a gorgeous highlight from the drugstore. And then the star of the show is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Lucky Star. I love this red lip, it is perfect. I'm obsessed with it, it's amazing. But okay, let's say you're looking at that look and you're like, oh, I'm not really good at winged eyeliner, but I still want that winged eyeliner effect. Then this look is perfect for you because you achieve that wing liner look with eyeshadows. So I just went in with some tape and I applied that to the corners of my eyes just to create that winged look to create like that cat eye effect. And then I went in with my ColourPop Zodiac palette and I took the Taurus shade and I am just applying this, basically I'm dragging it from the edges of the tape all the way across my eyes, kind of like an eyeliner look, 
But since this is the first eyeshadow I'm putting down, I'm being a little bit more messy with this eyeshadow. And I don't know if you can tell here, but I am also dragging this color a little bit into my crease. Now I'm gonna take the Virgo shade and on a smaller brush, I'm gonna be a little bit more precise with this one. So I'm dragging it again from the edge of the tape all the way across my eye, but I'm focusing this color really, really, really close to my lashes. And then I'm pretty much gonna do the exact same thing with the Capricorn shade, only I'm taking a much smaller brush and I'm being even more precise with this and I'm dragging it even closer to my lashes. I'm kind of using this black eyeshadow and pretending it's an eyeliner, I'm being very, very precise with it. So once you pack that on, you just take off the tape and boom, you have winged eyes, kind of. <laughs> I went in with the Marc Jacobs eyeliner in black, just a tight line, and then I go ahead and finish up my face before, well, yeah, I'm finishing up my face here because I already have foundation on, before I finish up the eyes. But I'm wearing the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation, and then for concealer, I took my Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer on my um, under eyes and on the rest of my face to highlight. And then I set all of that with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. For bronzer, I went in with the same bronzer. It's so weird because I filmed this on two different days and I could have sworn I was using two different bronzers, but I wasn't. This is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer and I have been loving it a lot recently. I mean, it's always a favorite and always a go-to, a go-to, but recently like more than ever. For blushes, I'm mixing two colors together. This is the Balm Desert Blush, but I wanted something a little bit more sheeny on top, so I took the Clinique Nude Pop Blush and I put it on top, yeah, like I just said. For highlight, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Starlet Powder in number 13. This is like the most intense highlight ever, but it's really, really amazing. Once you like blend it out, it is so amazing, I love it. And then I just set my face with the Morphe Setting Spray, and then I went back in with my Marc Jacobs Eyeliner to apply to my waterline. And then I pretty much repeated the same steps I did on my lids to my lower lash line. So I went in with the Taurus first, then I went in with the Virgo, and then I eventually go in with the Capricorn, getting more and more precise and more and more close to my lower lash line with each shade. To highlight my inner corners, I took the same highlight I used on my face and I applied it to my inner corners. Dude, this is amazing on the inner corners. It's like unreal. But for my brow bone, I took Mooney, of course. It's the best brow bone shade ever. And then I went in with a ton of mascara. This is the NARS Climax Mascara. And honestly, I was originally just gonna leave it like this and not put on any falsies, but I decided, you know what? I'm gonna pull out my little individual falsies. These are from the brand Kiss. And I am just popping on a few of these on the outer corners just to create more volume on the outer corners. And these individual falsies are perfect for those of you who are too scared to try out falsies because they're just like so much easier to apply. And then I popped on my lower lash mascara and the eyes are completely done. And then of course I popped on Lucky Star and that completes this look. I actually love this look. It's like a traditional classic old Hollywood type of vibe that just fits literally every single occasion. But now, I'm gonna show you how to get this really dewy, delicious, JLo inspired type of makeup look. And I'm actually gonna start off with my face first since the eyes are so simple. I primed the skin with the Cover FX Dewy Primer. I'm obsessed with that primer at the moment, it's so nice. And then I went in with the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Foundation. This foundation is a dewy, delicious, beautiful dream, but it does settle into the lines quite a bit, so just keep that in mind. But if you're young, it's amazing and perfect, and I love it. Um, the concealer I'm going in with is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer because I wanted a very dewy look to my skin, but I do set my under eyes with the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder, but I try to focus this just on my under eyes because I don't want to take away the dewy appearance on the rest of my skin. Um, for bronzer, I went in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It's amazing to bronze and contour, plus it has a little bit of a sheen. It's truly such a gorgeous bronzer. For blush, I went in with the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Blush in Just Curious. 
And then for highlight, I took the Desi X Katie highlight from Dose of Colors. This is the one in Fuego. And I use this to create a really dewy golden vibe on my skin. And then of course, I have to set the face with the Morphe setting spray. The eyes are so, so simple. I just went in with my bronzer. I just applied this in my crease with a big fluffy brush just to create a little bit of something in the crease. But then I took the MAC eyeshadow in Woodwinked. I have loved this eyeshadow for years, like six or seven or eight years now. And I just packed this on with a Real Techniques brush. But then I wanted to diffuse some of this color into the crease as well. So I took a big fluffy brush and I dipped some of that into the eyeshadow and put that in my crease. I wanted kind of like a messy, delicious, golden eye situation. And then I went in with my ColourPop eyeliner in Mr. Bing to tight line, and I also applied this to my waterline as well. I took the Bobbi Brown Single Eyeshadow in Heat Ray. I've spoken about this eyeshadow in the past. It's such a pretty peachy shimmer, and I didn't wet it or anything. You can apply this wet to get a more intense look, but I took it dry on my finger, and I just pretty much applied this everywhere because I wanted a little bit of like a sheeny, peachy sparkle. So after I did that, I just curled my lashes and I applied a ton of mascara. I was testing out this mascara. I haven't used this mascara in years. This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara and I gotta be honest, I feel like I used to like this in the past, but I do not anymore. It doesn't do much for me. I feel like my other mascaras give me a lot more volume. It's not bad, but it wasn't my favorite. But that's it. I feel like this look only needs just a little bit of mascara and you're good to go. I applied that Fuego highlight on my inner corners and on my brow bone as well. And then I thought this look would be really, really gorgeous with a nice juicy red glossy lip. So I went in with the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Lucky Star, of course. And then on top of that, I took this Sephora Clear Gloss. Um, it's just from the regular Sephora brand and it's the clear one and I just pop that on top You can use any clear gloss. It doesn't really matter But it creates a beautiful glass like look to the lips and it really complements the overall look Okay guys, so that completes this video I hope you guys enjoyed this style of tutorial or this type of video Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite look out of the three was and also let me know what you would like to see from me next but yeah, guys, that completes this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.